Ever wondered why some farts are as loud as a foghorn, while others could pass as a whisper in the wind? Well, buckle up for a gas-tastic journey. You see, the volume of your toot is determined by a couple of factors. It's a bit like playing a wind instrument. The sound depends on how much air you've gulped down during the day and how tight the exit, or in our case, the sphincter is. When you swallow more air, say, by chowing down your food too quickly or sipping on fizzy drinks, you're essentially adding more fuel to the fire. And the tightness of your sphincter, well, the tighter it is, the more pressure builds up and the louder the eventual release. It's all a delicate symphony of science, really. So next time you feel a rumble in the jungle, remember it's all down to how much air you've swallowed and the tightness of your sphincter. Now that we've cracked the science behind the sound, let's dive into some techniques for quieting those cheeky trumpets. First up, the art of adjustment. Think of your body as a wind instrument. By subtly shifting your position, you can alter the acoustics and muffle the sound. Next, let's talk about control. Picture yourself as a balloon, slowly releasing air. The trick is to let it out in a slow and steady stream, not all at once. That's how you avoid a sudden loud emission. Lastly, consider your clothing as your secret weapon. A well-placed cushion or a thick pair of jeans can work wonders in dampening the noise. It's all about using what you've got to your advantage, folks. So, there you have it. From body positioning to speed control to using your attire wisely, these are the stealthy techniques that will make you the master of discretion. With these techniques under your belt, you'll be a veritable ninja of the farting world. Of course, the best way to avoid loud farts is to reduce gas in the first place, and that, my friends, is all down to what you eat. Let's talk about food, shall we? You see, certain foods are notorious for causing gas. Beans, lentils, broccoli, onions, apples, and carbonated drinks, they're all culprits. These foods contain high amounts of carbohydrates that our bodies struggle to digest. As a result, they ferment in the gut and produce gas. But don't worry, you don't have to bid farewell to your favorite foods. There are plenty of alternatives that can help reduce gas. Try swapping out beans for quinoa or replacing broccoli with spinach. And if you're a fan of fizzy drinks, why not give herbal teas a go? Remember, it's all about balance. Too much of anything can upset your stomach. So eat a varied diet, stay hydrated and listen to your body. Remember, a good diet isn't just about looking good. It's also about sounding good, or at least not sounding like a whoopee cushion.